continuing with our JavaScript comparison to uh, C Sharp. Today we want to look at uh, the three levels of scope that variables can have. These three levels are global, local, and block. And generally speaking, global variables are defined outside of functions. And that means they can be accessed pretty much anywhere, including inside the functions, which can see the things that are outside of them. Local variables, generally speaking, are defined inside functions, which means they can be accessed by that function. But when you're in another function or in a main section or something along those lines, you can no longer access them because they only exist as long as the function is running. Block scope variables are contained inside usually curly braces which which create a block. And in, in the case of both JavaScript and uh, C sharp, blocks are created with curly braces and they're usually associated with statements such as if or for. Before I go any further though, I want to talk about the general layout of a web page. A web page has a uh, declaration with a less than exclamation mark of doc type. And this used to be a very elaborate statement before HTML5, but now it just says HTML. And then we have the HTML tag itself, which has a attribute of lang equals English. And this is matched with a closing HTML tag. In fact, you notice in Notepad++, if I selected it, the closing tag is selected. And then within the HTML tags, there's the head tag and the body tag. And the difference between the head and the body is, to a large extent, things that are in the head are resolved or loaded at load time. And things with that are within the body don't get executed until the web page is actually running. And in terms of JavaScript, the, uh, the general placement of the script tags can either be within the head so that whatever is there is resolved by load time, by the time the page finishes loading, or they can be inside the body. So this is only executed when this actual section of script gets hit by the uh, page as the page is running. So you'll put things like uh, variables, especially global variables, in the head, and also functions that are going to be called by at multiple times at runtime. And they'd be all loaded but not executed if they're in the head. And then you'd call these functions inside the runtime portions in the body. And you remember <coughs> last tutorial, we had these variables, and they were all global because they're all outside of any kind of function. And I said at that time that the var and not having a var makes absolutely no difference in terms of these variables. But it actually does make a difference if you start looking at other things, like if you start looking at functions. If you have a var, that makes this a local variable inside of this function, which is called do something. And if you don't have a var, after this function executes, this will become a global variable. It's very strange, and it's exclusive to JavaScript. There's nothing like this in C Sharp. So that str2, nothing, and everything inside this function will all become global variables once this function executes. And if we look at the code section inside the body that, that actually runs at runtime, the first thing we're doing is calling do something. And that's already completely loaded because it's in the head section. And then we have an alert which just pops up a message box for the value ix. And the value ix is a var inside of do something. 
So basically this won't work because this is now a local variable and do something. So if we launch this, we get uh, a message box that says inside if IY equals to 46. We click on that and we said outside if IY equals 46. And then click on that and there's nothing. There should be an alert that shows a third message box here, but it doesn't happen because the IX isn't defined at all. But what happens with the IY is the idea of the block um, scope. And basically I have an if IX equals 23, which it does, <coughs> and IX can be accessed because there's local scope inside this uh, function. Uh, so I say if IX equals 23 and we fall through to this code, and I set a local variable IY to 46. And inside C sharp, this would be block um, scope because it's defined inside the if two curly braces here. But in, in terms of uh, JavaScript, there is no concept of block scope. So even when I say the alert outside of this block structure, and I say outside if IY equals it also displays this value, if you recall from what we just ran. So if I comment out all this uh, block variable, block scope um, functionality, and just do a run, that's weird. Uh, it helps if I save it. Okay, now if we do a run, basically nothing happens because that code is commented out and the only other code is an alert that says display the IX variable and the IX variable isn't defined because it's defined with a var inside a function so it's local and no longer exists at a global level. But if we get a, something that is created as a global variable inside of the do something function, such as str2, because it has no var in front of it, and put that inside the alert box. and remember to save <laughs> and then run it. Now we do see the uh, variable displayed because it is indeed a global scope variable and can be accessed by the alert outside of that function call. Now if we look at similar concepts inside uh, C sharp which is generated by the IDE. All these are global scope because they're outside any kind of a function. And then inside the uh, method or function show local I have an int ix equals 46. So this is the same name but it's actually a different variable because it's defined with local scope. And if I then say uh, message box show ix printed the string, it will print out the value 46 rather than the value 23 because this function will be accessing the local version of the variable of the same name. And in terms of the block scope, I then have an if ix equals to 46, which is true because we're getting the local version. And then I define a block, block scope variable iy, which is inside the curly braces of the if. So only code inside the curly braces will know about this variable. And I set that to 92. And I put up a message box that says inside if iy equals to, 
and I have iy dot to string. And you notice I have to convert it to a string before I display it, largely because C sharp is strongly typed, and iy is going to be interpreted as an integer and not be displayable, unlike JavaScript, which could just dis directly display it. So if I compile and run this, and I click the show variable button, it calls the show local and it says inside if i y and shows the value of the block scope variable and then it shows a 46 for i x that's inside the, the show local as a, um, a local variable and then finally we have a 23 which is the message box outside of the show local which is printing out the same variable, the same variable name, ix, but this time because it's outside of the function, it's only getting the global value, which is 23. Now, if we wanted to be totally symmetrical with the uh, JavaScript code, we'd also have a message box that says message box show outside if i y. And in fact, because C sharp has a scope variable, scope uh, level of variables. This won't work at all because there is no such thing as IY outside of this scope. And in fact, it won't even let me compile this program. It'll just give me an error. You see it's underlined and it says the name IY does not exist in the current context. And if I try saving and compiling this, I get a, there were build errors. Would you like to continue to run the last successful build? And I'd say no. And notice the error description is the name IY does not in dis exist in the current context because it's outside of the block scope. Well, I hope this demonstrates block uh, local and global scope within the two languages. They are pretty different and JavaScript and C Sharp. They act quite differently. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's somewhat complicated so you might want to run it a second time and pause at different places and so on. I'll see you next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.